Hello everyone, it's Janet here for the monthly challenge for the Wild Orchid Crafts, the Wild Bunch Design Team. And this month's challenge was to do a project patriotic for our country. So my country is the good old U.S. of A. And this is a picture that my daughter had taken of my granddaughter Lexi. And this is her first 4th of July since she's only three months old. And I used some mulberry paper that I had had around. I keep all of my holidays in um, the 12 by 12 plastic containers and then I just put all the embellishments and everything in there and I store it in the shelving units and when it comes time to pull out a holiday I have everything right there together. So a lot of these are products that have been around a while but they work perfectly and they're still the 4th of July. So I use that mulberry paper in the background and then this paper here is some paper from my stash. It just um, has a real texture to it, a cardboard type texture in the red. And this is some of the beautiful wide Gapur lace. It's this one here, LA00031. <clears throat> beautiful lace in the white. And then along here is the red Organza rose trimming in small Z or OZ00019. I have that layered right on top of that. And then this is an old Jolie's sticker embellishment and a brad. And then the two pictures that I actually have up on glue dots. And then I also back them with the blue and the red paper. And then down in the corner here I have the little flower spray with the different flowers. So I used the cherry blossoms. I used the deep red cherry blossoms. That is FS00192. And then I also used some of the navy blue cherry blossoms, which came in the mixed color pack, which is PM00032. And then I also used some of, right in here, I've got three places, I used the white crochet flowers, CHT001. And then also used a few of the white cream tone hip rosebuds, BUD138. They're these beautiful rosebuds. I used the white ones back here in the back. And I used some of the off-white pearl string trim which is WD00023 and then I just layered it all together. I put some tool in the background. This is some ribbon that I'd had that I'd stuck in that box and then just placed the flowers together and this I tied this tool right here together and I used the edging that I had taken off of this organza trim to tie this so that it's kind of got a little streamer going off there. So isn't she adorable? So that turned out really nice. It was really fun to use the Wild Orchid Crafts products on that layout. And then I have another layout. The 4th of July is my husband and my wedding anniversary. We were actually married on the 4th of July, complete with fireworks, compliments of my brother. And so it's been 32 years and we celebrated our anniversary over on the coast by the Redwoods. And so we had this picture taken and so I have 32 years and I've done a lot of layering with paper and some sewing on my sewing machine to give it that extra texture and so I have 32 years and the fireworks are still happening and over here I made some little fireworks out of paper. I just rolled paper around a string and some wire and then I just glued the stars on to the wire and this was just an old thing that I'd had from a 4th of July several years ago I had stuck in that box and I used some of the red crystal on silver stems from Wild Orchid Crafts and then on the bow here I used cheesecloth and just made a ribbon out of it and tied a bow underneath my flowers and underneath here I have red burlap that was actually just fabric that I made my own ribbon out of and this was just ribbon that I used red line sticky tape underneath and gathered it into a nice little pattern. So underneath the flowers I have some of the beautiful ivory gapur lace 
I just cut off the pieces of this and that is LA00050. I kind of like the way that it was pointing, kind of like fireworks go out in all different directions, so that's why I used that. And then back here I have two of the antique gold metal embellishments that are these new items that Wild Orchid Crafts carries. And I just painted them red, and I there again I like the points on them, and I also thought they would be a good anchor for my little fireworks. And those are JW00012. So those are really fun to work with, and that's the first time I painted them, but they took the paint really well. So that's my layout of my husband and I. And then up here, this is part of the, but I made it so that it, it has a pull-out card, and I have my journaling inside there. So that's what I have up here. So I just tried to do a lot of layering. So that's my patriotic 4th of July challenge for this month. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me comments and I really appreciate all of you watching. Thank you so much.